वेलकम टू एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई केमिस्ट्री चैनल बी एल दास शॉर्ट एंड स्वीट इन केमिस्ट्री नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द चैप्टर कोर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्थ अकॉर्डिंग टू सी बी एस ई सिलेबस नाउ द टॉपिक इज नेमिंग ऑफ कोर्डिनेशन कॉम्प्लेक्स विथ रूल्स नाउ इट इज पार्ट फाइव सी इन पार्ट फाइव ए फाइव बी ऑलरेडी आई हैव एक्सप्लेन the how to write the cation how to write the oxidation number how to calculate or the values of complex ion so now here some rules and what is the complex formula how to write complex formula also i have explained now we will see what is the coordination naming coordination compound naming and what are the rules main rules we will follow this these rules already i have explained but before starting the naming of coordination complex i want to again revise the rules cation first when you name cation first ligands are named in alphabetic order what are the ligands present either it is unidentate bidentate or polydentate or simply monoatomic or polyatomic ligand you should write in alphabetic order polyatomic ligand in parenthesis if there is polyatomic ligand just like ammonia water like this they should write in parenthesis oxidation number of central metal atom what you have to calculate then it is written in roman numeral in parenthesis oxidation of central metal atom is calculated according to the all the values we will put and here you will get oxidation number of central metal atom here you, that you see should be written in parenthesis ligands name before cation when you start naming first put the ligands and what is the number of ligands and after that you will put cation no capital letter here no capital letter will be used no gap will be used there is no gap in the naming of the coordination complex no capital letter you will use in the coordination complex let us example see here this is a coordination complex ion that is cationic complex because it is positive charge plus 1 now you know what is a neutral ligand chloride is a what ligand negative ligand but what is the uh, ligand here named as aqua as to mean aqua chloride in a coordination compound what is the name chlorido chlorido and how many chlorine two di chlorido and how many water two it is sorry not two four it is tetra aqua aqua water chloride chlorido cl minus 1 so di chlorido tetra water but what you will write first you know alphabetic order you will arrange tetra uh, di tri livic only name of the ligands you will see which will come first in alphabetic order tetra aqua di chlorido see there is no gap and tetra you have started there is no capital letter chromium though it is a metal you will not write any capital small c in bracket you will put the you know, oxidation number of atom in human let numeral that in in parenthesis that mean you will put here 3 because it comes to 3 and 0 minus 2 it is plus 1 so the chromium charge should be plus 3 because the sum of the total of number is equal to this outer side complex ion so what is the name tetra aqua di chlorido chromium 3 3 mean roman numeral ion because it is ion it is not full name it is a complex ion now here it is a not complex ion it is totally coordination compound one is cation part another is nn part cation part is complex part so it is cationic complex and it is nn that is uh, just like acid radical you will see chloride and what is present here ammonia whole 6 ammonia should be present in parenthesis whole 6 that mean cobalt should be 3 because it is 0 
and it should be plus 3 and minus 3 the sum of the cation charge and anion charge equal to 0. How to name it? Hexamine cobalt but it is 3. So you should write 3 in parenthesis numeral that is Roman numeral fluoride. There should be one gap between cation and anion. Cation is complex, cationic complex. Charge is plus 3. So anion charge should be minus 3 because chloride minus 1. So now hexamine cobalt 3 chloride. I hope it is clear. Now it is the third one. There is also one part. This is a cationic complex and this is cation and it is anion. Anion is chloride. That means here you will do chloride test. You can do chloride test for the uh, confirmation. And now here this part. Water is a 0. That is a neutral molecule. Ammonia is also 0. Neutral molecule. Ligand is 6 ligand. So this is coordination number is 6. Triamine in parenthesis. Triaqua in parenthesis 3. Whole square bracket close. Plus 3. Superscript, right side. This is the uh, complex ion charge, cationic complex having charge plus 3. So, chromium should be plus 3. So, what is the name? Triamine, no capital letter started. Triaqua, no gap. Then come to chromium, no capital letter. 3, Roman numeral gap chloride. Roman numeral in parenthesis. Again, see. How can you name it again? I want to explain. First, this is a cation complex. It is clear. This thing should be not be in the question. You should calculate. This is minus 2, 0. There should be plus 3. So that it is plus 1. Tetra aqua dichlorido. Tetra diluit. Only ligand. Tetra aqua dichlorido chromium small and bracket. Roma numeral in parenthesis ion. Hexamine cobalt 3 gap chloride. Triamine tetraqua chromium. No capital for chromium. No gap in this line. Parenthesis 3. Chloride is counter ion. So this is different. So put a gap. Then come to chloride. Don't write it chlorido because it is not inside the complex, it is outside the complex, it will not follow any complex rule. I hope it is clear. Next we will see other examples. Uh, I, I will explain how to write different coordination compounds. Now we will see here the next example, the uh, cobalt, CO, cobalt, NS3 whole 5. Cl square bracket close and this is plus 2 that is one cation complex. This is cationing complex. First we will check what is the charge here. Chloride so minus 1 and it is called chlorido. NSC5 it is 0 tetra sorry pentaamine and it is cobalt. Cobalt and now it is minus 1. And it should be plus 3 so that the charge of the complex ion is plus 2. So now what is the name? Pentaamine, all are a small letter, no gap. Amine, chlorido, one chlorido. So only simple chlorido, there is no gap. Cobalt, 3 ion. 3 means Roman numeral ion. Again, Pentaamine, chlorido, cobalt, 3 ion. Complex is anion. If complex is anion, the name of the metal ends with ATE. Just like it is a complex is cation, so simply we are putting cobalt. But if it will be anion, then what to write? Cobaltate. So, example say here, uh, this one, Fe, uh, in the square bracket, Fe, Cn, whole 6. And the charge is given minus 3. And so the iron should be plus 3. And since it is minus 6. And this inside the square bracket. The iron should be plus 3 charge. 
so that the complex is nn having the charge minus 3 so what is the name this is first because this is cation you know cation should be named first ferric and this part here it should be uh, write in capital because this is separated from the complex anion hexacyano because cyano group is six times ferret f inside the square bracket so small f e r r a t e i told anion should be ends it a t e so this is fer ferret ferret plus 3 now here k2 whole square bracket h g c l 4 what is mean here now see this one minus 2 so here what happened it is complex anion and is outer side part potassium but now starts complex anion tetra chlorido how many times four times tetra chlorido and this is mercury mercuret mercuret what is the charge that is plus 2 so the roman numeral 2 again when the question is given every value so know the charge since it is complex and and having minus 2 if you don't know then you can see this is plus 2 so to make counter balance it should be minus 2 since it is minus 2 chlorido only you know that is minus minus 1 into 4 minus 4 so inside this square bracket mercury is charge is plus 2 so it is potassium then gap tetra chlorido mercuret 2 now this one in square bracket what is that fecn6 then you should find the charge only k3 is return you should write plus 3 here to counter make balance it is minus 3 if it is minus 3 you know only this one uh, cyano minus 1 so it is minus 6 since it is minus 6 you should put here plus 3 so that the complex anion is minus 3 actually in question what is the given k3 given cn6 given and you should know cn minus 1 you should know you already given 3 so it is plus 3 plus 3 mean it is minus 3 minus 3 mean it is minus 6 you know so it is plus 3 so it is potassium hexacyano ferret now here this one inside bracket nickel is there carbonyl carbonyl is neutral no charge zero so it is also zero and total uh, balance total square in the outer square bracket the total condition compound the charge is zero so what to write tetra carbonyl nickel zero tetra carbonyl nickel zero so it is charge charge is no it is zero now prefixes why are putting here prefixes 4 6 4 6 mean how can you write already you have written but you should know the uh, rule what is you say the rule if one mono not required to write if two di three tri tetra penta hexa like this see here amine amine is ammonia that is amine two times and the charge is zero and it is ag plus one so cl minus one so what to write di or use Why di word use di? I mean silver in small letter one that is Roman numeral chloride. Chloride there should be gap because chloride is different to counter balance here. Its charge is minus one. So chloride test you can do by silver nitrate. So this is the name di. I mean silver one chloride. Again I want to show you. penta amine chlorido cobalt complex is anion ate the metal ends with ate so ferret 3 you should calculate what is the charge of inside the central metal atom and here plus 2 so mercuret also you have to calculate the charge of mercury and here k3 fecn6 so since it is plus 3 it should be minus 3 since it is minus 3 and you know it is minus 8 so it should be plus 3 like this here zero charge so tetra carbonyl nickel zero 
and you should use the word already you have used the word mono di tri tetra penta hexa like this hexa is the maximum hexa means six ligands and uh, unidentate ligand that should be six if bidentate ligand that is di dented tetra dented ligand or any poly dented ligand then how to write that one we will see here uh, if en ethylene diamine is there which is a di dented ligand then how to write whether the word is used di tri or any word we will see now you know about uh, prefixes prefixes mono di tri are used to indicate the number of ligands suppose here ammonia molecule which is a neutral one use four times of what you will see what you will say that is tetra amines amine a m m i n e suppose chlorido group used two times then what you will say cl2 di chlorido now if prefix use already then then what you will do you will use the word b st tetra kis to indicate the number let us example inside the bracket co en hole 2 cl2 is there and so for minus 2 outer shell is there the charge only i uh, have calculated it's not uh, written in the question and what to do you know sulfide is minus 2 so it is minus 2 if it is minus 2 it should be plus 2 now here two times so it should be plus 1 plus 1 into 2 plus 2 now the count uh, counter ion is balanced now here what happened ethylene diamine is a neutral molecule 0 chlorido is minus 1 so it is minus 2 so it is plus 3 if it is plus 3 you can see the count that uh, charge of the complex ion is plus 1 and since it is 2 times so it is plus 2 minus 2 cancel now what is the name then dichlorido complete e for en now di already was used so you should not use di and it is a uh, di dented ligand so bis ethane 1 to diamine when you use ethane 1 to diamine here only 1 m uh, di a m i n e but when you put uh, ligand um, uh, ammonia two times you can say di a m m i n e diamine so cobalt cobalt 3 roman uh, numeral and sulfate sulfate test can we can do it is acidical test we can do this sulfate that is when this is treated with barium chloride solution it gives a white precipitate now here this one you can observe the co en that is zero neutral and three times because it is a dietented ligand so it is coordinate number is six and it is plus three because this is plus three plus three and chloride outer side counter ion chloride here the chloride test can be done by the acidical test and it is minus minus into one minus one into three that is equal to minus three so what is the name tris tris en for en it is tris ethan one to diamine en and cobalt three chloride and here there is no gap if uh, it, it indicates gap then it is uh, wrong so there is no gap so it is the and here it is gap here the gap is there and chloride here gap is there because it is counter ion it is a counter ion now you see dichlorido this one dichlorido because here chlorido and ethane which will come first according to alphabetical chlorido so dichlorido and en hole 2 hole 2 that means here you will use the word vis vis ethane 1 to diamine close vis ethane 1 to diamine because two times it is there cobalt 3 stop gap there should be gap then chloride chloride the capital c because it is a counter ion it is separated from the complex ion Again, see dichlorido bis ethane 1 to diamine cobalt 3 chloride. I hope it is clear to you. Then this one Pt central metal atom NS3 ligand neutral chlorido minus 1 
the charge is not in the question you should remember and you should put and after that you can write the uh, naming then here no2 minus 1 so see minus 1 minus 1 and plus 2 0 so the outer side it is 0 that is a neutral complex then how to write diamine because two times chlorido one time nitrito one time but n is attached so n nitrito n and it should continue that is why one line and platinum so again see diamine chlorido diamine chlorido nitrito this is nitrito n here n is attached platinum 2 then here this one very interesting this is mercury inside the bracket the complex ion this is minus how can you know because mercury is plus 1 this is minus 1 so here how can you calculate the minus 1 because cobalt is plus 3 SCN that is a unit entry ligand anion so minus 1 into 4 minus 4 since it is minus 4 plus 3 so charge is of the complex is minus 1 it is an ionic complex again see SCN thiocyanate ion that is minus 1 into 4 minus 4 cobalt is plus 3 so the result of the complex ion is minus 1 since it is minus 1 mercury is plus 1 so how can you write tetrathiocyanato as cobalt 3 cobalt 3 and mercury is there so you should write mercury mercury then gap is there then you write tetra mercury tetra thiocyanato uh, as cobalt again see mercury is separated mercury is not included in the complex ion that is why mercury and gap is there then here it is complex ion that is minus charge anion tetra thiocyanato s because s is uh, attached to the central metal atom so s means sulfur cobalt 3 so next is this one last one c k3 is written question al c2 4 whole 3 return and minus 3 is not there we have to see if it is 3 and we should know potassium is plus 1 plus 3 then c2 or 4 minus 3 into minus 2 because oxalate is minus 2 minus 2 into 3 minus 6 and you hold the this aluminum is plus 3 so the charge is minus 3 again you can see potassium plus 3 because we should know potassium plus 1 then if it is plus 1 plus 3 to counterbalance the ion this is minus 3 if it is minus 3 you should know only two things we should know potassium charge is plus 1 oxalate the charge is minus 2 so minus 2 into 3 minus 6 and it should be plus 3 so that result of the charge sum of the all the charges should be equal to minus 3 then what is name potassium gap trioxalato trioxalato aluminate and charge is 3 plus 3 so roman numeral 3 are you clear again i can say the nomenclature and it is dichlorido b ethane 1 to diamine cobalt 3 sulfate in question nothing should be given minus 2 not given plus 1 this charge not given you should remember what you should remember she sulfate minus 2 sulfate is minus 2 chlorido is minus 1 so 2 chlorido minus 2 and and since it is minus 2 1 into 2 that is plus 2 charge how to get plus 2 that means my plus 3 should be there so that here plus 1 charge is there and you multiply by 2 that is plus 2 like this you should calculate and here the plus 3 is 0 plus 3 not be given only simply Cl3 given you should know chloride minus 1 it is minus 3 so it is minus 3 you should write plus 3 since it is plus 3 cobalt should be plus 3 because ethylene diamine that is neutral similarly here also the charge will not given only simply simply formula there you should know two things one is chloride minus one ethylene diamine zero chloride you put minus one so it should be plus one if it is plus one then chlorido minus chlorido also you should know chlorido is minus one into two minus two 
so it is plus 3 like this we will have to calculate two or three things you get a ligand or a counter ion charge you should know after that you have to calculate let us see here the question is given now minus minus 0 plus nothing given you should know nitro nit and no2 that is minus 1 cl minus 1 and ammonia 0 then put the value to calculate the platinum that is plus 2 diamine chlorido nitrito n platinum 2 similar here also the charge is not given in question you should know thiocyanate that is minus 1 and mercury that is plus 1 like this you write mercury tetra thiocyanato s s means sulfur cobalt 3 k 3 here plus 3 you should know because plus 1 and oxalate that is minus 2 and here also you will calculate the charge is plus 3 so potassium tri oxalato aluminate numeral parenthesis numeral that is uh, 3 roman numeral 3 i hope uh, the nomenclature part is clear to you uh, in the meantime in isomerism and uh, um, hybridization in everywhere the nomenclature will come at the time all be, all the nomenclature part will be clear and new any new name will come means uh, we will clear in isomerism and hybridization process and hope uh, it is clear and Please subscribe my channel BL Das, short and sweet in chemistry. Also, like and share my channel. Thanks for watching my video. Though it is a very difficult part, the nomenclature for the coordination compound. I hope you can feel easy if you see uh, from the part 5, 5A to 5C. Thanks again to all.